So, um, it's a Saturday today. Kakagaling ko lang po ng showtime. At may sumundo po sa akin. Ewan ko. Sana lang nga ako sinundo. Out of the blue. You know, di ko naman alam na meron pa lang plano. Ah, ikaw nagplano na ano na to? Hindi, wala akong kaplano-plano. Biglaan na lang niya akong sinundo. Sabi niya, halika. I was whisked away to to Anvaya. Hi. Hi! So why did you plan this surprise trip to the north? Because I want you for myself. Oh, oh my goodness. So anyway, habang nandito kami sa car, kasi tinan nyo yung traffic kaya liya. Oh no! Diba? Malala! Mababagot kami dito sa sasakyan. So habang nandito kami sa sasakyan, hindi ba kinakanta ang kayo? Uy, mahal yan! Baka huwag ka mong kumanta. Baka ma... maano tayo? Ang tawag doon? Ayaw ko sa iyo. Ma... Flag. Ma flag. So ano ba nilalaro mo? Shopping ako, hindi ako nandito. Oh, what are you shopping? Scrapbook. Oh, yun kasi ang hobby niya po. So, si Regine kasi yung naging scrapbook. Um, she started doing scrapbook during deep in the pandemic. Well, it started out, you know those little houses, those miniature houses? Yeah. Because I started doing that even way back before the pandemic. Oh, yes, pandemic. yes, yes, I remember. But then I had so. But I had to stop because yeah, I work. Ano kasi ang mahirap kasi din you have to finish the whole thing for the for you to see it. Because it is like a house with the furniture and all. And it's hard. The glue also like would mess up my nails. So I stopped doing it altogether. And then I saw all these vlog mga scrapbook nice research na napu sa Instagram. And it was so interesting. I loved it. So I started doing it. And I haven't stopped. I can make like four pages in like maybe three hours. Wow! See? She's a scrapbook enthusiast. enthusiast. And also because it has helped me with my anxiety. So you miniature na hakawala ng anxiety? It helps. It oh, helps. Kaya pala ako asawa mo. Kasi miniature. Thank you, thank you. Grabe, no? Insulto ko na nga yung sarili. Hindi, I'm fine. I'm super fine. Well, ako, I don't have the talent for scrapbook. No, that's the thing. You don't even have to have a talent. No, no. You have a gift for it. You know, putting things together. You have to have... There's an aesthetic. I don't think I have that. But... You haven't made me do it. Nag kasi dati lang. Ay gusto tinatawa. Ako naman gagawa. Ayaw niya. So, since she doesn't trust my artistic sensibility. My scrapbook making is my songwriting. Of course, it's my job. You know, I do write songs. However, it really is a release. And you, and I'm using my hands too. Like, guitar and plus the piano also. So, what do you plan to do while we're in Empire? It's a good idea. Oh, may may massage tayo. So what I'll do? You, I'll hmm. try him. So while you're playing Sims, what will I do? I don't know. Will I go? I will play golf. Hey. Ano yung gumagalaw naman? Karu. Gusto ba yung karu? I'm sure. Ang time kasi na. Car, karu. Mahal kasi kailangan bakla ka pag ka nag-bakla. Kumaintindi ka. Saan yung masabing bakla? Hindi. Karu. Kwento ko lang sa inyo. As you know, I have a company called A-Team, right? And we are, of course, managing talents. Producing concerts. So this year, I dream of doing one concert. 
we're losing one concert, but for the younger artists, I will not tell you who they are yet. I will tell you. No, don't. But I wanted to put a, put together a concept where featured mga babae. Okay. Wow. Ay na ko alam ko na. Wag mo sabihin. <laughs> sabihin ko. <laughs> Let's talk about the 1980s. Who was your favorite artist of the 1980s? Would be Houston Jeffrey. Oh, With the Houston was the quintessential. Quintessential. <laughs> and there was a period kasi nung 80s. I explained ko lang sa inyo guys. There was an influx of a lot of, of European uh, bands and acts, you know. And then in America, there were the Michael Jacksons and Lionel Richies. Ang dami-daming music na nangyayari. Wow! Yung sabog. And it was like, it was music, li- lifestyle almost, hairstyles were so... <laughs> the 80s were like, bad hair, weird fashion, Colors. but like, Really good music. Really, really, and fun music. And I remember, I remember so when George Michael came out. Just so you know, guys, sobrang idol ko si George Michael. Kasi kung gumalaw si George Michael, sino? Ano ba to? Anaki ba to? But you find yourself drawn to him. He had just had so much charisma. And he's and of course his voice. That voice. He was he was wow. And that voice was just captivating when the, that group came out. Ang pangalan ng grupo niya, Wham. But anyway, had a group called Wham. It was him and Andrew Ridgely. They came up with songs like Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. Somebody. Somebody told me. Everything she wants is everything she needs. <laughs> and then eventually they broke up. George Michael became George Michael. And one of his biggest hits was a song called Faith. It was just game changing. It was game changing because everything that was coming out during that time, especially from their group, was very synthesized. Suddenly, there was a riff and his voice there was no reverb it, it was dry it was as if it's, he, he was singing very near the microphone and it just blew my our minds away um one of the uh, sorry I'm just gonna talk about a few artists here another guy that really exceptional aside from MJ is an artist called Prince Okay. Uh, Baka hindi yeah. nyo na si Prince. And you remember them? Who doesn't know Prince? Of course, the younger people don't know Prince. But Prince was just phenomenal. Young people, look it up. I, um, no 80s po, ang kasabay, uh, hindi naman kasabayan, sinabayan niya sa kasikatan. Si Michael Jackson? Si Michael Jackson. At sa pagbenta ng and he had a movie, uh, Purple, Rain. Purple Rain. The song that actually introduced me to Prince was a song called 1999. I was dreaming when I wrote this, forgive me if it goes astray. Brown, purple man is stretching, I don't mean it even care. Say, say, do, that lumsy, woozy, party over roofs out of time. <laughs> we'll talk about Michael Jackson at another time kasi masyadong masyadong marami tayong pwede pag-usapan the only thing I guess that's sad is that George Michael Prince Michael Jackson they never worked together well they never did work together but what I was gonna say is they're all gone oh. they've they, yeah. they passed away so early, they were so young. Like now, so they never work. They never work together. Si Prince kasi chak si MJ. Parang meron silang very strange, right? 
but there is a clip on YouTube and you guys look for it where Michael Jackson was seated uh, in the audience and he was watching King of Funk see James Brown he was watching James Brown uh, at a concert James Brown is called the godfather of funk calls Michael Jackson on stage and asks him to jam and MJ I think and then so my own very very light. That's maybe no bulum shy, you know. And then James Brown says, Oh, uh, Michael just said I should call someone on stage who's really good. And his name's Prince. Prince? Mm-hmm. Prince? So Tinatao Tinao was the Prince. And out of nowhere, Prince comes. I don't think he had a shirt on or something. Because that panar new for video and that's on YouTube. And that is probably the only, only time that you will find Prince Michael Jackson got together on one stage. Together. Wow. There's one intriga, and I know this because as, as, as a fan, it's the one intriga. Na. When all of these artists got together and recorded a song, you We Are the World. Yes, it's called We Are the World, and it's called USA for Africa. So that song, We Are the World, was written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie. So they put together all, all the superstar singers during that time. And of course, it's not a Prince. Oh, why are you a Prince? They don't Prince. They were like that. Because they were like that. Because they were like MJ. But it's for Africa. Yeah, so, yeah. so during that time, they were tagging Sino yung kasama ni Jackie Chan? Chris Tucker? Chris Tucker. Ayun mo. Ayun mo. Ayun mo. For some reason, was very close to Michael Jackson. Apparently, kay Prince. So, one time, parang ina- in-invite yata ni Prince si Chris Tucker na manood ng concert. Sinama niya si, sinama niya si Michael Jackson. So, nanood sila. Tinuturo niya kay, kay Michael Jackson. Parang tinuturo niya yata sa mukha. Parang gano'n. Hi. So sabi ni MJ, Why is Prince so mean? Why is Prince so mean? He was putting that face on my face. <laughs> yeah. So, napulot ko lang yung cheese piece na to. Kay Chris Tucker. So, hanapin din niyo yun sa YouTube. So, yeah. That's some of my cuentos. I don't know if you guys remember this bridge. No, it's not a bridge. It, they call it a viaduct. Ko yung mahabang mahabang tulay. Yung bata ko bagong bago kasi tung tulay. Tapos yempre hindi naman ganito ka traffic. Mas nagigain kami ng kapat. Kasi pag tumadaan ka dito sa tulay na, may parang pagita niyan. Mas mar- ma- mararam naman yung good good. Ginagawa niya pero. So, hulaan na. Yun. Yun na rin naman. Huhulaan namin kung kailan. Ang corny, no? Anyway, ano yun? Yun sa akin, kasi hindi kami dumadaan dito kasi naka-price kayo ng kami kasi majira ang kapag. So, parang somewhere like a small road. Sa baba siguro. Yeah, you can see the bridge. And in my head, one day I'll be able to cross that bridge. Talaga? It's true, it's a true story. That's so sad. Why is it sad? I crossed it. And it's kind of significant. And I was taking it for granted, just playing games on the viaduct. And me, it was my dream to pass, to cross it. Because you were a tricycle? Yeah. Aww. So where were you going? Where were you headed? I was gonna join a magic Oh, somewhere there? Yeah, somewhere over there. Really? Yeah. I really got you. No wonder you're so ch- such a good singer. Because you had all this training all your life. And, and that's why every time you sing, you have this... I'm gonna kill this song. Whenever you sing, people get excited. You know, they just get this type of, oh, what you got? What's, 
what noise you're going to hear this time. Maybe it's part of my training. It's just... Hey, what do you say? By the way. Ano, no? Say, no comment. What do you say? Anyway, what do you say? What? What? What do you say? What do you say? Good morning. So, um, we arrived last night. We had a massage and slept. <laughs> so, we're here in our casita. Hi. Um, and I just want to include. Because I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say went really viral and uh, maraming tao akala nila merong kanta na tungkol sa'yo. In fact, kinakanta ni JC. Ni JC yan ng uh, si Pata. Si Kulot din yata. Alright, so today we have a challenge. Regine is going to teach me how to do how to sing the tungkol sa'yo. Rich na ginagawa niya. Ginagawa niya doon. Kasi alam niyo po, ako po ay isang Ballad beer online. Ang style ko parang country singing, di ba? Yung malumanay, gano'n. Hindi ako marunong mag-R&B. Yung pag nag-R&B ako, para akong... Basta, hindi magaling. So anyway, um, without further ado, here is my teacher, Madam. So how do you do it? Nice. So, eh, paano mo tuturuan? Sige, yeah. Okay. Tungko sa'yo. Wow! Tapos na yun. Ang ganda na. So, Tungko sa'yo. Ah! So, may iskala pa lang ganun. Parang kung hihimay-himay natin. Tungko sa'yo. Ano ba? Tungko sa'yo. Ah, mahirap yung dulo eh. Yung may tututututut. May gano'n. May tututututut. Diba? So, okay. Here is my attempt. My first attempt. Tungko sa'yo. Nakikialam ka? Hindi. Tungko sa'yo. Ay, alam ko na. Let's do it slowly. Ayun okay? na yung slow eh. Slow na ba yun? Tungkol sa'yo. Tungkol sa'yo. Oh. Parang anon? Ayan. Tungkol. Tungkol sa'yo. Tungkol sa'yo Tungkol sa'yo I'm getting better Ano kasi yan guys It really is muscle memory You cannot just do it in one attempt Unless you're just born with it Or you're supple Supple It's the word. Or, or may talagang sana yung vocal muscles mo to do it. So, I am thinking, I'm gonna challenge myself. To do it every day? To do it every day until you I get it. You know what I used it. to do? Mm. I, 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 the way I practice it is I just use my throat without sound. Hmm? Nakonat. Uy, narinig ko yun na. <laughs> Dito ko lang yung ginagawa and in my head. Wala, walang sound. That's so weird. But do, you, do, you, do you feel it moving? No. No, look, no. look, look, look. No. It moves. You really have a gift, honey. I, 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 I know. Okay, here we go. Tungkol sa'yo So we're on our way home We had a nice getaway Here in our 
one of our favorite places called Alpaya. Sarap actually yung massage nila dun sa spa. And it's only 1,500. I know that's medyo hindi ganun kamura yun, but if you go to the really expensive resorts, tapo abutin ka ng mga it's 10,000. Oh, did you have good. fun, honey? I did. Thank Overnight, you. Overnight, it was nice. Thank you for teaching me tungkol sa'yo. <laughs> so what do I have to work on? Nothing. You're perfect. Oh, oh. see. <laughs> perfect pero hindi ako naman. Grabe ka. No, Baba, you, you, you did it perfectly. So yeah, bye-bye to Bye and bye. We'll see you soon. Love you guys. Till the next vlog!